Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to do some work on our base. Um, so I am back from my uh, little over a week long business trip and uh, so this is my first time uh, back in Icarus since I've uh, been back. I got back late last night. Um, and we're so picking up pretty much where we left off in the last episode. If you guys did not catch the last episode, um, we had we had a run in <laughs> with the monsters from the um, the thumper and they chased me all the way back to the base and did some actual damage to the base. I had a herbalism station and I had a masonry bench here. I'm trying to think if I had something else there too um, that we lost uh, and all that so we have to replace those things and then you know some building pieces as well. Uh, Makers did come out with their next a weekly update and they added things like uh, waypoint pinning to the map to the compass um, and a bunch of other stuff but I didn't see anything in there about fixing the aiming on the rifle or fixing their damn performance <laughs> it's still bad um, in fact I even spent some time before I started this recording once again trying to tweak some settings to, to get it even you know reasonably workable and um, it's just it is what it is uh, but I'm not going to spend this whole episode complaining about the performance of this game. So, um, what I am doing though is looks like that's full. We need to replace the biofuel in our generator that we have out here. And oh yeah, I needed to also uh, plant some more soy, soybeans. So let's get that done. I just harvested the garden too right before I started the episode back up. So yeah, um, we need to re repair the damage to the base, repair uh, or re replenish, repair the workstations we lost. But um, then, then I have some new things I want to do. I want to change the way we're doing the animals first of all because they're just, you know, a constant pain in the butt. I mean, even to the point where I might m move them away from the base entirely and you know make a little barn for them um, and then I want to add a wing uh, to the base that goes out this way over the lake a little bit uh, so we can have some um, more room in the base basically and, and make that wing kind of like a loft uh, and that'll be our living area and we'll we'll set up a bed and and do all that that good stuff too okay so uh, Soybeans, that's what we were doing. We gotta grab some soybeans, so let's do that first. I mean, I've even... I've even looked at possibly getting another graphics card. I really don't want to, because they're still expensive as all get out. Um, and I have a 3060 Ti, which should be more than adequate to play this game. It's more than adequate on every other damn game I play, so I don't know why it doesn't work on this one. Oh, right, I said I wasn't gonna complain, sorry. <laughs> it's just a constant irritation to me because I love the game so much and it's a pain in the butt you know when you can't play it um, as smoothly as it should be I've got a few more things to put away what am I doing soybeans we're doing soybeans first let's get that I'm, I'm very scatterbrained right now so apologize for that um, but let's get our soybeans planted back over here so they can start growing Um, you know, and they, they did also um, show us a road uh, so a road map, I guess, with this last update. And I saw some cool things on there, uh, including the ability to, to tame tame pets and add more mounts and a couple other things that caught my eye. Like, yeah, that would be cool. But again, I really, really, really wish they would work on their, their performance before they keep adding all this extra stuff, you know. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Let's, uh, okay, so next thing we need to do is we need some stone foundations. Now, I had a bunch of that stuff in the masonry bench before we lost it, but it looks like stone foundations were not uh, part of what we had in there. So let's put uh, this back in here for now. And we're going to need to make a, a new masonry bench. I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit, too, because I actually still had the masonry bench. Oh, come on. <laughs> Is it? 
Nope, that's still not making it. I need more room. Um, okay. Now try it. How do you... I, I wish there was a way, you know, when it's queued up here to start it. I don't know how to do that. If I click on it, it doesn't do anything. I can't click on it here. Uh, the only thing I know what to do is to clear the queue and then re queue it up. So, anyway. I wish... The other thing I wish the game would do is when you do craft something, that it would pull all the ingredients and put it into a, a buffer like most other crafting games do and not put it in the crafting bench and not let you make it because of that. So, another irritation with uh, w the way this game works on some stuff. Okay, so let's grab the masonry bench and I had it sitting right there next to the door but I think for the moment this isn't going to be its permanent location but for the moment let's just stick it right here because we just need to be able to to work with it. Okay, so we'll put the stone back in there and then we'll grab see we're gonna need this and this and stone and wood. We'll grab the wood out of here too. We are gonna be using concrete though for the new stuff we're building. I'm just doing this right now to replace what we've lost. Uh, so we're gonna make one of those. Now we have in here Stone walls and stone walls. What is the difference between these two? Nothing. I think it's just that it only stacks to 20, so it's making two... Okay, yeah, I think that's what's going on there. Let's grab the foundation out of here. That back in place. Okay. Now we want to put what's is our rotate? Yeah. Put that there. And that there. Right? I think that's how we had it before. Yep. And then this we want to do as a doorway. Good. Okay, so that's uh, put back the way it's supposed to be. We're going to need a floor piece for that. And we're going to need a, a an actual door. So let's go into here. Make a reinforced door. Same thing. There's too much shit in here. So get that out of the way. Get out of here. Okay, and then finally, the wood floor. We need some copper nails for that. Let's make a, a stack of those. So yeah, I was looking at the price of, of graphics cards. Um, 3080s are still over a thousand dollars, which is just freaking ridiculous. Um, if I was going to get anything at all, I would probably get a 4070 Ti. They're running around eight to nine hundred dollars on Amazon right now, um, which is still crazy expensive. But I'm just there's no way I'm going to pay a thousand dollars for a 3080, um, and you know 4080s are even worse. But the 4070 Ti is, you know, supposed to be a really good card. But even, you know, even 800 bucks, I mean, good lord, that's a lot of money to pay for a graphics card. But it's just been that way for the last three years, you know. So I'm kind of, what I would like to do is just hold out until, um, until the prices, you know, come back down again and become reasonable again. And that still hasn't really happened yet. So, uh... Let's pick this back up and put it back where it was originally situated, which was right here. Make sure that's lined up pretty good. 
And then we had an herbalism bench there. Grab all this stuff and put it back in here. Now, I thought... I thought I picked up the herbalism bench, but apparently I didn't because I am not seeing it in here. Let's put that back in there. Put the hide stuff in there. Oh, we need to we need some light light action too. Put this guy in here. And we need some more wood or sticks in that. Uh, so let's queue up a couple of stacks of sticks. Good. Let's grab that out of there. Uh, why is this not running like it's supposed to be? I don't know. It is now. Oh, because fuel. That's why. Try this again. Yep, I gotta clear this stupid thing and then do it again. Is it working now? Yes, now it's working. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's work on <coughs> the new wing first. Excuse me, and then we'll work on the barn for the critters. So I've got a pretty decent amount of of concrete made up here. I'm, I'm short on silicon, or silica rather. Uh, but what we want to do is, well, actually here, let's look at this. Let's look at the situation. So we're going to build out probably going to do a three foundation build out and I'm not exactly sure how far out that direction we're going to be but I'm going to put pillars down to support it and those pillars should we should be fine using stone pillars because I don't think they'll take damage uh, weather damage so how many of these can we make in total 11 probably we're going to need One, two, th three, three to five high, depending upon the the bottom of the lake. So let's just make a total of ten. Okay, so we got the pillars going, and now the next thing we want to do is we want to make some concrete uh, flooring, and. I'm thinking that I'm thinking that we're gonna probably go out at least two. So that means we need a total of six uh, concrete floors. You know what though? We could probably make the floors out of stone too or even out of wood because it's gonna be covered. Yeah, so we could probably get away with just using concrete walls and a roof. I think that'll probably work. Uh, so what do we need here? We need steel rebar. We're in pretty good shape on screws. So let's go down here. Uh, let's even grab some more screws. And then for the steel rebar, we can make a total of 17 of those. And that's actually going to be 170. Let's start with a hundred. Um, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ten, not a hundred. <laughs> Except for, what's the matter? Go. There. Okay. Because otherwise we would have ended up making a thousand, and we do not need that many. At least I don't think we do. 
Put that in there. Let's stick the bones over here. Um, I want to grab... Uh, nope, not that. This. Grab these out of here and get them in this guy so it can start replenishing fuel on this and this. Okay, so we'll grab the rebar there. Let's... We got a fire going in the fireplace. Let's sleep. Make it morning. Okay, so we want six... Or no, we're gonna, we're gonna do concrete walls. Um, well, let's make the platform first. And we're going to, again, we're going to try and see if we can get away with doing that out of stone. I don't have any stone floor. I thought I had stone floor. Yeah, I got stone floors right here. I was going to say. Let's just grab all of these out of here. I guess I still had my extra door, too. All right, well, we'll just leave that in there for now. Okay, so let's go out here first and under the water. We want to make our support pillars. And I think I want those to be along the edge. All right. See if there's any piranhas around that are going to come and try and bite us in the ass while we do this. I don't see any that are in the immediate vicinity. Okay, so what we want to do is put a pillar here. No, here. Okay, put that one there. And then same thing on this side. I think we want to go here. Those are lined up, right? Yeah, okay. I wonder if we're going to want one in the center as well. Let's see if we can get away with not doing that. And if we can't, then we can't. Okay. Okay, yeah, we've got to go up another level here. And it's these ones on top that we want to take away. Let's touch that one up. Because we might end up... No, we're not actually going to leave that there. That's coming down. Okay. Yeah, which direction is that going? I want the arrows moving out. No, we were... Hmm. I want these to be wood, wood floors, not stone floors. Well, let's... Let's do this first, though. I want to see if... The pillars are enough for the SI. Or if it's going to want us to put another pillar in the center there. So we need two more of these. Need some more iron nails. Um, let's make another stack of those. Alright, so it's it's okay for the floor, but that doesn't mean once we start putting the walls down it's going to start having issues. But what we could do is um, 
You know what? I'm going to grab... I'm starting to think this is this is further out than I want to go. No, the more I look at this. I'm thinking maybe just going two out instead of three here. Maybe. Because I had another idea, and that other idea was to change things up here and have the stairwell going up this way. Um... Okay, let's try something here. We'll pull that down. Keep in mind, too, that, you know, the way things are currently organized on the bottom floor here are not, uh, it's not going to necessarily stay that way once we start making these changes. I don't like that little lip right there. So you know what I think I want to do is let's pull that back down again. Let's take this door up. And I want to put this come back okay now turn that way it's not doing it because of the yeah that's what I want right there okay I'll get rid of that So yeah, I, I, I do want it to be this way, actually. We'll put this piece back in here. Is that going the right direction? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna, I'll have to, I'll redo that water pipe so it's not there. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, cool. Um, we are going to need to enclose this stairwell, though. Which we could probably do with an inverted stone piece. But then the question is, if we do it that way, we're going to need another way to get out onto our porch. We're going to have to make a, a different doorway. Okay, so i got to figure that out. We could... We could make this a doorway on that side um, or what we could do is potentially you know put a door on this side and a door on that side to get out there I actually know I, I like the idea of having a doorway out on this side instead and you know, we might not be able to put a doorway going out on this side, but as long as we can get out there at least from one side, because it's not like we spend a lot of time out there anyway. So let's do this. Let's pull this up and put this, redo this as a door. Going that way. Okay, good us to get out here as needed. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and I want 
inverted stone wall angles. We might be able to just accomplish that with the radio menu. Uh, yeah. Like this. Except that needs to go on this side. Come on. Go every every place except for where I want you to. There we go. Okay. Now this one needs to be this piece here. No. It needs to be uh, this piece. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's cool. I'm digging that. I am going to put our rails along here too. We're, we'll have to periodically repair them, but it just, we need rails along there. That's cool. I'm liking this. I'm digging it. Okay, now, next thing is let's go grab our. Um, uh, let's go grab our concrete walls. And I'm going to open all of this up. And we could probably even do that right now. If we pull that down, pull that down, and pull that down. Now, let's put a solid concrete wall in this corner. And pull that down. Make sure I'm looking at the right thing here. Pull that down. And then we want to put a solid concrete wall uh, there, like so. Okay, good. Now, once again, you know, we'll rearrange things up here once I get the main structure part of it done. Food's low. Uh, that is not good. Let's have ourselves... Some berry pie, some veggie pie, some meat pie, and some crispy bacon. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, so now this is going to be a window. Just trying to see if it's going to give me some grief. What if we made all of these windows? Um, yeah, that might be okay. That might be okay. So, we are going to need another six concrete walls to fill that spot in. Alright, so how many can we do in total? Ten? Okay, we want six. And while we're waiting on that, yeah, I'll patch this hole in the ceiling here later. Let's put all that stuff back in there.
I wasn't necessarily planning on making these all windows. But we're going to do that. And just see if it works. Okay, SI seems to be behaving okay. I'd like to put the larger windows in, but we can't do that symmetrically with only three um, walls wide, and I don't want to go any wider than that, so. Yeah, I don't, hmm, I don't know how I feel about all of these being windows. Sure is a nice view, though. Let's leave it that way for now. We can always change it up later. Okay. Now we need roof pieces. And uh, we're going to make this roof... We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going that way. We could do a lower pitch, a half pitch roof over here. That might actually look kind of neat. Yeah, let's let's try that. Let's try a half pitch roof. I don't want to over make this stuff though either cuz you know it's really expensive. We're going to need at least four of those anyway and then we're going to run out of something. It's probably going to be steel rebars. Yep. Okay, well, let's grab these four anyway. So the idea here is to grab this. No, this. No, not that either. I think that's right. It just looks a little weird because it's not coming to a point. Uh oh. Alright. We're that's what I was figures was gonna probably happen. Alright, so we're gonna need more pillar support for this setup. So probably what we'll do then in this case is Um Let's build up on the current pillars. But we might need to do something in the middle here, too. What does it do if we try and put it on now? Nope, still doesn't like it. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to do pillars up the center here then, too. That's what I'm thinking. All right, how many more of these can we make? Just one more. We are short on iron nails. Well, let's make another 50 of those. We're also going to get uh, run out, run low on stone. Um, do I have any stone in here? only other place I would have stone is up in the the uh, concrete mixer. Yeah, we still have a decent amount of stone in here. Let's grab two stacks of that. And more spikes. Spike-a-doodle-doos. Right now, how many can I make? Let's make eight. I'm, we're probably going to need at least that many to get this all done. Meantime, we need more steel rebar. 
So if we look in up in these chests up here. That's all I got left for steel. Um, we might need to convert some of these ingots into steel also. Let's grab 80 of those. Okay, we'll make that many more rebar. And we need um, coal, which we have in here. Okay, we'll get those going. Nine pillars. It's possible that we might have to put some on the sides here too when it's all before it's all said and done. Uh, but let's see if we can just get away with it. in the front first. Oh, I need you to snap. I think I'm too far away for it to snap. Okay, we're just gonna have to go down in the water. We'll see if that works. If it doesn't, then we'll also have to put some side supports on too. And I might do that anyways, more for aesthetics, but we'll see. I think we had a wall in here before, didn't we? Okay, well, hopefully, I don't think the critters can get out that way. It doesn't matter because we're going to change up their deal anyway when it's all said and done. Okay, now let's try this. Uh, no, we gotta put another pillar here, and we're short a pillar. And we are short on more iron nails. How many of these can I make? Not that many. Let's make a hundred. Okay, now let's see what it does. It's happy. Very good. Okay. We want to go this way. And then we want to go... I th think we want to put a half wall in there. Yeah. I think we're going to want to put a half wall in there. So let's go back over here. And, oh, we're waiting on more rebar. Oh, well, we made lots of rebar. <laughs> I'm trying to get this covered before another storm comes, because if it doesn't, then we're going to have to be dealing with damage. Okay, so let's make another concrete wall here. And then we will put that here, except for we want it to be... Oh, wait. Where's the option for a half wall? Uh, is, that a, is that a different building piece? You can't put these vertically, can you? All right, what am I missing here? It, mm, mm, yeah, I don't think I can do this, you guys. I don't think I can do this with with a three wide setup. It has to either be a two or a four, and two is too narrow and four is too wide. So that means we can't do the lower pitched roof pieces. Unless I'm unless I'm missing something here. 
Feel free to let me know in the comments. But yeah, uh, I don't think we can do it with three. I'm just not seeing how that's going to work. That's disappointing. I'm just trying to remember what I did on the multiplayer server. But I think we had, it was more than three wide, though, is the thing. That's why, you know, I was able to make it work there. Well, okay. I guess that means we're going to have to just... Oh, shit. Here comes the storm. And at least it's a short flash storm. So it's, it's going to do very minimal damage to the exposed stone, if any at all. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Um... All right, well, we're going to we're just going to have to do the big pieces then. So what that means is we need one more concrete wall angled. And then we have this piece and then that can end up being the the upper part. You need to be over here. not the right piece. Do I hear something crumbling? I don't think so. I mean, something... Oh, it's the tree on fire. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, that's what's... Crackling. Okay. okay that, that will not be a problem, you know, once we get this covered, of course. But we're just about through the worst of it, and then we'll be fine. I think we're we're good. Now let's grab um, another one of these. And that will go up here. Um now what? Now what, game? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I think I want to put two more pillars all the way up, even if it's not going to make me do it for aesthetics one, but we probably need the extra oomph there. So let's make two more of these. Oh, for Pete's frickin' sake, man, really? Oh, I guess we made more. I just didn't put them over there. It's gonna... I was going to say, didn't we just make a hundred of those? Yeah, we did, but we didn't put them over here. <laughs> I was like, what in the world, man? I may um, replace these with uh, these wood pillars at some point, too. And, you know, as long as you have the wood pillars inside of the wall, embedded in the wall, they won't take damage. Um, case in point here, because, you know, these have been in there for a long time and they haven't taken any damage. But we'll just, you know, I'll replace those later. Right now, uh, we're just going to use the stone pillars. Okay, so we are in good shape there. Now we need to start building our roof back over this way. And I think we're going to need to pull these pieces up here. Because we're going to have to do the little angled thingamadoodle to get that to work properly. 
Okay, so let's switch this back to just the normal roof pieces there. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five. We need five more pieces. We're going to need some of those, though, as well. So let's just do three more of these for the moment. Because, again, very expensive. Don't want to overmake it. Okay, I think we put these pieces in here. caps on there. Okay, so we need two more caps and then we're going to need the inverted doohickeys. I'm just going to keep these half pitch thingies in here for now because maybe one of you guys will tell me in the comments there is a way to do it. Uh, it's just not apparent to me at the moment. Good. Okay, so we got that part done. Now what we need to do here... I've done this before. I just got to remember... I think it's these corner pieces that we have to work with to get it to go. So let's start with four of these. Okay, so um, just got to remember how this works. What are our options here? We want to do the inverted version of these. Yeah. Right, okay, and then, yeah, that goes there, that goes there, and then we need the other inverted piece, which is this piece. No, this piece. And then we put a cap on there. And if I remember right, the last time I did this, I had to put another one of those doohickeys in there to... Well, that's taking damage. Uh, that one's not, though. That's full durability. That's full durability. I think that's a graphic glitch, because I think I remember that happening, too. It looks like it's damaged when it really isn't. Right, okay. So this we want to be a cap. Uh, yep, put that in there. And let's replace our lantern. Well, we should probably just go to sleep, actually. Tis morning. So yeah, we've got um, we've just got a hole there that we have to patch up, and I think if we if we turn that cap around, then we're still going to have the hole. Yeah, no, we don't want to do it that way. Okay, so what we want to do is make one more of these. Uh, no, one more of these. And then we come over hither. Make that the cap. 
and put it in like that. Okay, very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's take a look at it from outside. We'll get the long view on it. Hmm. We need to... Oh, we you know what? We need to replace a beam there. That's probably why that's all cracked looking. That got must have got destroyed by the worm that attacked us. What I'm thinking <coughs> is... Let's go look at it from over here. There's something bad over here that wants to eat us. That doesn't look terrible, actually. Um, so we'll, what we'll probably do is keep those as stone pillars. But when it gets up to the building, then we'll switch them over to the to the timber ones because I, I think that looks better. But I, I, I'm digging that. I, I think that's workable. Let's go look at it from down on this end. We need this. Oh, yeah, you know what? I don't know if you guys noticed this on the last video. I did when I was editing it. I never actually grabbed the silica out of there. And then, then I was trying to figure out what happened to it. Uh, I thought I had grabbed it and I didn't. So that's actually good because silica is the thing we're really low on. Yeah, I'm digging that, you guys. I think that looks pretty cool. And um, I don't mind the three windows either. I like it. But, like I said, I'll replace the stone pillars that go up into the walls with the timber. Um, and I, I kind of like, too, that we're... You know, that we have some stone and then some concrete. Because it, it just gives... I think it gives the structure a little more um, character. Nope, they still didn't fix the aiming. I, I, I was just going to double check. I didn't see anything in the patch notes about it, but... Might as well clean, clean these out while we're here. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, uh, we need to wrap up this episode here. Um, we'll, we'll probably keep working on this in the next episode, too, because, you know, once we get the external part done, then we have a lot of internal stuff to do. So, yeah, I'm just going to plan on another base building episode uh, for the next time. And um, get this finished. It's kind of weird looking. Before we, you know, before we move on to the next thing, which I'm not even sure. You know what I think the next thing's going to be, you know, the more that I think about it. I think the next thing's going to be that I'm going to do Zephyr on this character. So that we can unblock the Arctic Wall and not have to go 100 miles around to get over to the other biomes because that's that's my tentative plan after we finish you know working on, on this base here so what we have left to do is we have uh, we have the interior stuff to do the rearranging of our workstations and making ourselves a proper bedroom with a bed and all that sort of thing because we get a better buff from the bed than we do from the bedroll anyway and then then we need to work on a barn so that's the plan uh, coming up. And then after we get that all taken care of, then my tentative plan is to do the Zephyr mission and, um, you know, to open that up. And then after that, we'll figure out what will what, happen after that. Anyways, I think that is it for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. See ya.